so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Hey, it's me, Blippi. Today, we're going to learn about some construction vehicles. They are so big and powerful! Can you guess which construction vehicle this is? Let's go find out! Hey! It's me, Blippi, and look at where I'm at! Yeah, today, I'm in Tenino, Washington, at a ranch! Yeah! Check it out! All this beautiful grass! Wow! Hey, but today, we're gonna explore a machine! Let me give you some hints on what machine this is. So, it's a machine that you can use in this big open field. Yeah, for crops. Yeah. It starts with the letter T. You can have a lot of attachments on it. <laughs> Do you know what it is? <laughs> yeah, let's go. Whoa, check it out. This is a tractor. Whoa, tractors are so cool. Typically, you use them on farms and ranches. They get so much work done. Hey, check it out. Whoa, do you see this? This is a big bucket, and it can scoop a lot of dirt and gravel and things like that. Whoa. Wow. These are the bucket arms, which help lift the bucket. Whoa. Right here, these are the hydraulic hoses, which help tilt and scoop things up and lift up the bucket. Oh, and you know what this is. Yeah, this is where you fill up the tractor with fuel. And this tractor doesn't take gas, it takes diesel. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, that right there is the cab. Here, go on to the other side, let's go. Whoa! Hey, this tractor, yeah, has one big wheel and tire. Yeah! Whoa, look at this over here! Whew. Now this is a big wheel and tire. Hey, did you notice? It has one wheel and tire, two wheel and tires, and the other side have two more. So that means Two plus two equals four. Yeah, good job. Wow, check out the back of the tractor. Yeah, this is a mower attachment. Wow, on the back right here, there's some blades and this attaches to the tractor. And this is what you use to go across grass like this, chop it down, and then you have a nice yard to play in. Woohoo! <laughs> but hey, tractors have a lot of attachments they can have, like augers, or balers, or hay fluffers. Whoa, that is awesome! Hey, now I think we should head inside and drive the tractor! Yeah, let's go! Yeah, we're inside the cab of the tractor. Okay, first things first. Yeah, safety first. Yep, that means we have to wear our seat belt. Perfect. All right, there we go. Now that we're all buckled up, we can take the key and put it in the ignition and start it up. But for now, let me show you all the things in here. Yeah, down here, these are the brakes of the tractor. Yeah, those are what you put your feet on, so then you stop the tractor in its tracks. Or tires. <laughs> yeah, and this right here, this is the steering wheel. This is how you operate and drive the tractor. <laughs> yeah! And this handle right here, you pull back to lift up the bucket, you push forward to put the bucket down, and left and right is to dump out the dirt. <laughs> I think we should go get the dirt. All right, let's turn it on and test out the horn. <laughs> All right, here we go. Woohoo! She's purring like a kitty. Meow. <laughs>
scoop up some dirt. <laughs> Yeah, this tractor is so useful. Good job! <laughs> Whoa! Isn't that a cool machine? Yeah, it was so fun operating and driving that tractor. Wow, what a useful machine that you can use on farms and ranches. Whoa, so cool. So many attachments and so many uses. Yeah, we learned about a tractor. Construction vehicles are awesome. Can you guess what this construction vehicle is? It has huge wheels! Let's go find out! Wow! Check out this machine! Do you know what machine this is? Yeah, it looks kind of like a truck. But it has a giant bed or a box right here, which has a lot of material in the back, and it dumps it out. Wait a second! That must mean it's a dump truck! Yeah! Dump trucks are awesome! Whoa, look up here! So big! Wow, this is where the engine is! Wow, that's a big engine! You need a massive engine because you need a lot of power to lift up the box! Whoa, check these out! Yeah, you know what these are? Yeah, these are wheels and tires! Whoa, this vehicle is really cool because in back, there's a lot of them. I'll show you that now. But first, we need to check out the cab. Whoa, this is where the operator sits. Whoa, check it out. Whoa, there's a lot of things in there just like a normal vehicle. A steering wheel, some, yeah, some lights. There's also a mirror, there's a key to start it, yeah, and a bunch of gauges and gadgets, so then you can operate it. Whoa! But this machine needs a lot of fuel to run. Yeah, I called it fuel because it's not gas, it's diesel. Whoa! Whoa! Look! Yeah! Do you see how many wheels and tires this vehicle has? Look! There's two right here. <laughs> Normally, they only have one in the front and one in the back. But this has two in the back. Yeah, and that is multiplied by two <laughs> because it's on each side. So that means on one side, there is one, two, three. Yeah, and you can add three on this side to the other side. Three plus three, yeah, is six. Whoa, these are called mud flaps. Woohoo! Because they flap <laughs> like a dog's ear. Woohoo! Actually, what it's used for is so then mud doesn't fling out to the vehicles trailing it. Yeah, and look at this. This is the tailgate of the dump truck. When you lift up the load, then it dumps it all out. And I think that's what we should do now. <laughs>
Wow, that was awesome. <laughs> Machines? Yeah, the excavator is loading up the dump truck. Wow, what great teamwork. Whoa, those are some big scoops that that excavator is putting in that dump truck. Whoa, wow. It looks nice and full. I sure do love dump trucks. They're so tall, so powerful, and so useful on the job site. Woohoo! Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B L I P P I. Flippy. Good job. All right. See you later. Bye bye. Hello! Hey! It's me, Flippy! Yeah, today we're at Boulder Bend Glassworks in Leavenworth, Washington! Whoa! And look at all these! Wow! These are glass sculptures. Whoa, they're very delicate. Wow, so I'm going to be nice and gentle. Whoa, check that out! Yeah, you can put all sorts of things right here. Whoa, wow, look how brightly colored this is. Whoa, I am so curious how they made this here. Yeah, all of these are handmade here. Yeah, handmade. These aren't made with machines or anything like that. Every single one of these is turned or blown. Yeah, and they're made by two people right here. Okay, here we go. Come on. Wow. Whoa. Look at this. Looks like a blue and white plate. <laughs> I could put tons of food on here and eat it all up. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> or you can use it for decoration. Wow. This is so cool. Wow. Look at this. <laughs> Blue and orange, my two favorite colors. Wow, glass is so cool because look at how hard it is. Ow, that hurt. <laughs> but when you heat it up really hot, yeah, it kind of turns into like a liquid, kind of like honey. <laughs> I love honey. <laughs> Whoa, look at this place. Wow. There's so many cool machines in here and tools. Hey, come check it out. Whoa, look at all these. <laughs> they kind of look like scissors, <laughs> but they're used for the glass. Yeah, we'll look into these a little bit later. <laughs> but 
For now, come check this out. Wow, look at all these colors. These are actually big pieces of glass. Wow, what color is this? Yeah, it's bright red. Do you hear them? Listen. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we got some red, some orange, some yellow, some green, some turquoise right in here, and teal, and we got some blue, and looks like we have some purple. Can't forget about white. <laughs> that is so cool. I am so excited to see what we make with glass today. Wow, look at all these glass rods. Whoa, so cool. <laughs> They have colors on the inside. Whoa, okay. <laughs> okay, let's see what they have here. Whoa, check it out. Yeah, this is a nice bed. This is where you roll a metal rod and the glass is on the end. We have a nice little, uh, looks like a little metal paddle. <laughs> you can flatten out the glass. Ooh, some big tweezers. <laughs> wow, we have some diamond shears. Each one of these tools has a different use for the glass. Oh, look way down here. A big paddle. Whoa, and it looks like some glass actually made it turn black a little bit burnt over time. That is so cool. Okay, there we go. Hey, and this is a fluffy, yeah, kind of like a torch. Yeah, has some nice flame coming out. Whoa. Oh, hey. I like bowls. Whoa, so cool. <laughs> I bet you put the glass in there. Okay, let's go explore. Whoa, look at this. Yeah, this is an oven. This is where you put in the glass and then it heats it up. Yeah, it's really hot in there, so I'm definitely not going to touch that. Oh, it's nice and warm, though. Whoa, look at all these little pieces of glass. Wow, they're so colorful. Whoa, yellow, blue, orange and yellow, purple. Oh, and you can't forget about my two favorite colors, blue and orange. <laughs> that is so cool. Whoa, look at this station. This looks like the safety station. You know me, I love safety. Check it out. <laughs> Look at these big mittens. <laughs> so then you can hold the nice hot glass and then it won't burn you. Whoa. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> Whoa. All right. Whoa. And down here. Whoa. Looks like we have. A helmet. <laughs> How do I look? <laughs> do I look silly? <laughs> wow, I love protective gear. Yeah, keeps you nice and safe. Oh, another oven. This is where you put the finished glass to cool down nice and slow. Whoa, and another oven. But this oven is really, really hot. This is where all the clear glass is. Yeah, and it is basically like liquid in there. Oh, whoa, check it out. This is a torch, another hot area that I am definitely not gonna touch. Wow, <laughs> there's so many cool things around here, but you have to be very, very careful. Hey, look, yeah, look at these pipes. Some of the pipes have holes in them. Do you see that? Yeah, that's where the glass blower blows into this pipe. And on the other end, that's where the glass is. And then the air expands it, kind of like when you blow a bubble. With bubble gum. <laughs> yeah, this is a section of pipes. Check it out. These are used and they are very cold. And that's why I am able to handle these. 
Yeah. <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. <laughs> so cool. Whoa. What are they doing? Whoa. Hey, who are you two? I'm Craig. I'm Dory. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm Blippi. What are you doing? We are blowing glass. We're making hearts. We like to make hearts a lot. Whoa. They're blowing glass and making hearts. Do you mind showing us a little bit more? We would love to show you. Awesome! <laughs> Kinda look like tweezers. Do you see what she's making? Yeah, it's a heart. Yeah, a symbol of love. Why are you two putting it in there? We put it in here so that it cools slowly. If it cools too fast, it'll crack. So it stays in here all day long at 920 degrees and that it cools down over a two-day period after that. Wow, that's so cool. I'm so excited for it to cool down so we can see this part. <laughs> Did you see that? That was so cool how they made that part. <laughs> now I get to make a heart. But the first thing I need to do is wear my safety glasses. Yeah! Whoa! How do I look? Woo! <laughs> yeah! Now I'm ready. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Check it out! Whoa! First I need to roll it. Yeah! Oh, that's really fun. All right. There we go. <laughs> this is so much fun. Whoa. All right, now we're heating it up. I chose blue and orange, my two favorite colors. <laughs> yeah. What are your favorite colors or color? Wow, what a great color. <laughs> You see how I'm spinning it? Yeah! It's because gravity pulls the glass down. Yeah. Whoa! Whoa. It is very hot! Okay. Now roll it. Whoa. Just like that. Keep rolling. Whoa. Oh! Just like that. Keep rolling. Oh. Okay. Just keep going. Okay. You can let it cool now. Okay. We have to 
it was moving a lot, right? Yeah. You let it cool down so that when you cover it with more hot glass, that it doesn't lose control and drip off into the tank of glass. Oh, okay. So now it's cooling down a little bit. Wow. That was very good. Thank you. Hey. Whoa. This is fun. <laughs> wow. It's so cool how glass is really hard when it's cold. But when you heat it up to really hot temperatures, yeah, it turns into a honey-like consistency. <laughs> I love honey, but I definitely do not want to eat this glass or honey because that would burn us. Wow. Do you see what she's doing? She's using that spoon-looking device to roll it in and look at how smooth and circular it looks. Wow. <laughs> Little more heat. Here we go. Whoa. <laughs> okay, it's ready. Whoa. Whoa. All right. The first thing we have to do is tap it, but I need to keep rolling it. Here we go. Is it ready? All right. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. <laughs> I'll do a little bit more shaping. Can you tell that it's a heart? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm gonna give it a little bit more heat. And then we'll do the last bit of shaping. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna do the last bit of shaping. And then from there, whoa. Okay, how's that? That looks really good. And then let's give this point just a little bit more of a tug. Perfect. And then how about right there? Wow. A little bit more of a crease. I'll try and center it out. <laughs> Not really. Well, that's okay. <laughs> Perfect. All right. How's that look? That looks very good. Okay. Well yep. Great. Whoa. Wow. That was so much fun. Now they're going to do the finishing touches and then they're going to pull it off of the metal rod. Now we're keeping that back truck point because we just broke the glass, right? So we're heating it up, working that in, and then we're going to put a stamp on it. at Boulder Bend Glassworks with you today, huh? Did you have fun? Yeah! Hey, let's check out what we made! Yeah, they made this really cool pendant. Whoa! Yeah, remember how they blew it and made it big and it expanded? Whoa! Look at that! Whoa! That is so pretty! <laughs> and then they made this bluish and whitish bowl. Wow, you could put so many goodies in there. Whoa, 
Oh, they do such great work. Wow. And then they made a heart. Yeah, they used yellow and orange. Whoa. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> that is so cool. And then I got to make a heart. Yeah. Do you remember my two colors that I used? Yeah. Blue and orange. Whoa. <laughs> Here it is. Wow. We did such a good job making this heart. Whoa! <laughs> that was so cool. It is so cool that when these cooled down, yeah, they became really hard. Yeah, and then when they were really hot, yeah, it was like a liquid. Whoa! Yeah, kind of like honey, <laughs> but not honey. It's glass. <laughs> All right. Well, I should probably get going now. <laughs> but this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Flippy, good job. All right, bye-bye. <laughs> hey, it's me, Flippy. And look at all the items that I have. Whoa, so many random things. But hey, in this video, we are going to do the Blippi Velocity Race. Yeah, that's where we put a lot of these items on this ramp. Yeah, see how this ramp is at an angle? Yeah, we're gonna let them go at the same time and see what item reaches the bottom first. Okay, so let's go with Heat number one, the slow pokes. <laughs> we have this sweet, colorful beach ball, and then we have this really light balloon. Okay, all right. What one do you think is gonna reach the bottom first? I think I know. Three, two, one. Whoa, did you see that? Yeah, the beach ball went to the bottom first. Okay, let's let them just, you know, get warmed up for later. And then we'll use some more items. Yeah, I'm sure all these items are gonna be a lot faster. Okay, here's another set of items. They're actually the same item. Water bottles. Yeah, but this one is empty. And this one is half full. <laughs> all right, let's put them on their side and then Let's let them roll down. Okay, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Awesome. Three, two, one. Whoa, yeah. Wow. The half full water bottle totally beat the empty water bottle. How do you feel after your race, half full water bottle? Oh, Blippi, I feel amazing. I can't believe I've won. Great. Well, it's gonna move on to the next race. Half full water bottle versus extremely bright orange duct tape. <laughs> All right, here we go. Are you ready? Ready to race. Are you ready? You know I'm ready. All right. Three, two, one. Whoa! Whoa! Did you see that? Yeah! The water bottle rolled down way to the bottom, way quick, way faster than the duct tape. Perfect! So now it can move on to the next round. Have you ever wondered why these items, some go fast and some go slow? Yeah. It's because their velocity. Yeah, velocity is basically the speed at which they're rolling down. The speed and the direction. Yeah, there's a lot of things that actually determine what the item's velocity is. I mean, like, think about it like this. There could be a lot of friction and it like can't slide or maybe it rolls compared to, you know, maybe there's sharp edges. There's just so many things that, you know, determine how fast, how much velocity these items have. So let's let these two items go. We have orange over here 
and Apple over here. And let's see who wins. Go! Whoa! They were actually really close to each other. I don't even know who won. Let's see that instant replay. All right, let's pick two more items. We have a soccer ball or a football, depends where you live, and the half full water bottle, the champion. Okay, let's see who wins. All right, here we go. Are you ready? I'm good to go. Are you ready? I was born ready. All right. And away we go. Whoa! I cannot believe it. The half full water bottle wins the velocity race. Whoa! And the crowd goes wild. <laughs> wow, that was awesome. Learning about velocity and how fast that water bottle went and how the ramp is angled. But yeah, if the ramp was flat, it definitely wouldn't go anywhere, right? Yeah. Hey, can you think of a machine that is actually really fast? Yeah, there's a lot of them. Okay, let me give you a hint. Okay, this machine does not go on the ground. Well, it does, but then it goes in the air. Yeah. Whoa, I hear one. Yeah, maybe you've got to fly in one before. Fly? Yeah, they fly in the air. Yeah, airplanes. Yeah, airplanes are really fast. And speaking of speed and velocity, I think you and I should watch the airplane video.
Wow, that was so much fun learning about velocity with you. And it was really fun seeing all these great items compete at the great Blippi Velocity Race. <laughs> but there's only one champion, and today, that was water. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Blippi. Good job. All right. See you again. Bye-bye. <laughs>me Blippi and look at what I have here. Whoa, this is a scale. Yeah, you put one thing on this side and one thing on this side, or many things, and whatever way it tips will tell you what's heavier and what is lighter. Okay, let's try a really easy example. I'm gonna take these off. What do you think is heavier and what do you think is lighter? A feather, oh, oh, tickle. <laughs> or a rock. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, the rock is going to be heavier than the feather. Ready? Yeah. Do you see how the rock is lower? Yeah, because this side is heavier. Okay, I have another idea. How about a bunch of these feathers? Whoa, yeah, that's a lot of feathers. <laughs> Whoa, and the feathers are so colorful. And to make it even, we need to add the carrying case on this side too. Okay, now let's see if all these feathers weigh more or less than this rock. Ready? Oh, that one rock is heavier than all of these feathers. Whoa! Whoa! That is so cool. Okay, let me put that rock over there. Put this back up here. Wow. We have to stay nice and clean and organized because we have a lot of things to weigh here. Hey, okay. all right. Hey, check these out. What kind of fruit are these? Do you know? Yeah, this one is an apple, and this one is an orange. Yum! <laughs> I love fruit, and I love vegetables. Okay, let's see. Huh, they weigh roughly the same. I wonder what one's gonna be heavier, what one's gonna be lighter. Ready? Three, two, one. Whoa, do you see that? Yeah. The apple is heavier. Wow, <laughs> and it's bigger. But that isn't always the case, remember? Yeah, the feathers were so big, and then the rock was so small. But the feathers, yeah, were lighter than the rock. So it's all about density. Yeah, let's see here. Ooh, look at these. <laughs> wow, these are cubes, and they actually are pretty Whoa, light. <laughs> wow. See, even one barely even tipped the scale. Okay, so let's go like this. Okay, there are four on that side. Actually, let's do three. <laughs> okay, now the same cubes on this side. Let's do five. What one do you think will be heavier? Yeah. You're right! Five cubes of the same size and same weight is heavier than three cubes of the same size and weight. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, all right, let's get back to weighing things. Okay, let's put these rocks over here. Let's gather up all the feathers. We need to pick up after ourselves. Perfect, put those right over there. <laughs> Although they're so cute. Okay, all right, now we have some dinosaurs. <laughs> we have a T-Rex. <laughs> okay, you can stand right there. Oh, how about you just take a nap? Just like that. 
And then we have a Triceratops. <laughs> okay, let's see what toy weighs more. I don't know the actual dinosaur weight, but just for these toys, yeah, this T-Rex is heavier than the Triceratops. But what if we added a Brontosaurus to it? All right, are you ready? These are definitely heavier. <laughs> okay, we'll put those aside. All right, now we have an experiment. Okay, we have rice and we have water. So, let's put the same amount of rice in a balloon compared to the water, the same amount. So let's do a quarter of a cup. And then we can see what one is heavier, which means which one is more dense because they're actually going to be roughly the, the, no, they will be the, the same size. Yeah, because one quarter of a cup is volume. Perfect. All right. <laughs> Sometimes it can be so confusing. <laughs> okay. All right. One quarter of a cup. Make sure it's nice and... What? Perfect. Okay. Oh, got to set that down right here. Need to prep my balloon first. Perfect. There we go. Okay, got to use the funnel or else it would be really dirty. <laughs> Okay, here we go. One quarter cup. Let me tie it. Okay, now I'll do the water. All right. Okay, now we need one quarter of a cup of water. Whoa. I don't want to spill. Ready? Ah, perfect. <laughs> okay. Stay nice and organized. Be sure to clean up. All right, now let me tie this. Okay, so we use the same amount of volume. One quarter cup of rice, one quarter cup of water. Okay, now we get to do the fun part. We get to put it on the scale, and we get to see which one is more dense. Which one is heavier? Ready? Yeah, the blue was rice. Whoa. Rice is more dense than water. Whoa! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hey! Do you know what else is really heavy? Yeah! Construction vehicles are really heavy. Yeah, like this excavator or this front loader. Whoa! Huh. This excavator is actually heavier than this front loader toy. Whoa! <laughs> hey, I have an idea. Since we're talking about weight and machines are really, really, really heavy, let me think about a machine that is very heavy, low to the ground, and can push everything out of its way. Do you know what machine that is? Yeah, look at the big front blade on it. Yeah. That is a bulldozer. Hey, I think we should learn and watch the bulldozer video. <laughs> bulldozer, clearing the land. Whoa. Bulldozer, pushing rubble and sand. Whoa. Bulldozer, constructing the roads. Whoa. Move over, it's about to roll. It's a yellow tracked machine. Whoa. Found on mines, farms, and factories. Most anything Bulldozers turn up debris Bulldozers help the farmers work By breaking up rocks and digging in the dirt With the blade on the front and the claw on the back It can help you build a home just like that Whoa, it's on a roll Bulldozer They can move all kinds of things. Bulldozer.
bulldozer clearing the land. Whoa, whoa. Bulldozer pushing rubble and sand. Whoa, whoa. Bulldozer constructing the roads. Whoa, whoa. Move over, it's about to roll. Bulldozer clearing the land. Maybe the rock will make it heavy enough. Whoa! It for sure was heavy enough. Wow, that was so much fun learning about weight with you. And also, bulldozers. Wow, those machines are so heavy. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I! -P -P -I. Flippy! Good job! Alright! See you again! Bye-bye! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna clean up now. Hey, hey! It's me, Blippy! I'm just out on a walk. And hey, did you notice the ground is really wet? Yeah! It must have rained here recently. Maybe today you and I can learn about Rain, weather, rainbows, and walks! <laughs> wow! Weather can sure be very unpredictable. Yeah! Hey, if it's sunny, you might need a tank top. If it's cold, you might want a stocking cap. <laughs> but if it's about to rain, you definitely want some rain gear on. Woohoohoohoo! Check it out! Yeah, I got my rain jacket on. Whoa, it's fully waterproof. So even if it pours down tons of rain, yeah, I will stay really dry. And I got my matching bottoms on. Yeah, what color's my outfit? Yeah, it's the color yellow, just like the sun. Where's the sun? I don't know. <laughs> but hey, Check out my boots. Yeah, I have black rubber boots on. <laughs> and the last thing that I'm missing, yeah, let's go find an umbrella. Whoa. Okay, let me put my hood on. Wow, it's really starting to rain. All right, check it out, an orange umbrella. Let's open it up. Now there's no rain hitting me at all. Wow. Okay, let's put this one away. What's this next one? Yeah, the first umbrella was really small. And this one, whoa, is so big. Whoa, whoa, check it out. Whoa, whoa. What color is this umbrella? Yeah, blue. And white! Woohoo! Whee! Okay, let me put this down before I fly away. <laughs> okay, and for this umbrella, whoa! Check it out! Yeah, another big umbrella. And the colors of this umbrella are. Whoa! It is so stormy out! Yeah! It is white and green! Woohoo! Let's go! <laughs> wow! I love the rain! The cool thing about rain gear is you can even splash in the puddles and streams that were created by the rain and you won't even get wet! Look back here. Wow. 
Do you see this? Yeah, this is my rain collector. I set this out earlier before it started to rain. And then all this rain collected from the top. Do you see how much it says? Wow. Yeah, it says about two inches. Yeah, that's just over five centimeters of rain. Wow, that's a lot of rain. Okay, I'm gonna pour it back. Yep, onto our planet Earth. Because when the rain falls on our planet, it's really good for it. It helps keep all the plants nice and moist and our oceans nice and full. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah, these are my rainbow oculars. Yeah, isn't that cool? Yeah, they're the colors of the rainbow. Have you ever seen a rainbow before? Yeah, they love to come out after it rained. Yeah, a rainbow is an arch of colors made by light and water. Let's see if we can find one. Oh, oh, oh. Where does rain come from? Well, let me tell you. <laughs> okay, let's start with water in a pond, or a stream, or the ocean. Yeah, water is a liquid at this time and place. And then water goes what's called evaporation. Yeah, evaporation is when the water becomes these little tiny particles and goes up in the air. Yeah, it turns into a gas. It goes up in the air and then turns into some clouds. Whoa! Yeah! Clouds are awesome! Whoa! Look at that cloud! That cloud looks like a piggy! Oink, 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 oink. Look at that cloud! That cloud looks like a T-Rex! <laughs> <laughs> wow! And then all this gas water starts to come closer and closer and closer. Yeah, and those clouds start to form into liquid water again. Yeah, and then rain starts to fall. Whoa! Yeah, it's raining! <laughs> Whoa! And then they create puddles and streams and ponds, and the water goes back into the ocean again. And then the cycle goes over and over and again and again. Wow, that water cycle is so great. Woohoo! <laughs> Today's weather forecast sunny skies in the morning, followed by storms in the afternoon. Don't forget your umbrella. Looks nice, lots of sunshine, clouds of white, and a bright blue sky. But the sky's turning gray, there's wind and some rain. It looks like it's gonna be a stormy day. Weather, weather, all kinds of weather, like sunny, breezy, cloudy, warm, pleasant days. Weather, weather, all kinds of weather, like windy, rainy, 
stormy, hot, muggy days. A lightning bolt, that thundering sound. There's a storm coming any moment now. Tornadoes, hurricanes, and floods. Sometimes weather can be dangerous. Weather, weather, all kinds of weather. Like sunny, breezy, cloudy, warm, pleasant days. Weather, weather, all kinds of weather. Like windy, rainy, stormy, hot, muggy days. And when it's really, really cold, snowflakes will fall from the sky. Everything goes quiet. Everything is covered in white. Hey, the rain has stopped and the sun's shining again. Icy blizzard, cold, frigid days. Weather, weather, all kinds of weather. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B L I P P I. Flippy. Good job. All right. See you later. Bye bye. Hello. Hey, it's me, Blippi. And look at where we're at. Yeah, we're at the Fantastic Playtorium in the Tacoma Mall in Washington. Let's go. Wow. Hey. Blippi, have fun. Yeah, let's go. First thing we have to do is take off our shoes. One shoe. Two shoes. See you later. <laughs> Whoa. Check it out. Whoa. <laughs> that was fun spinning around. Hey, a piano. Wasn't that awesome? <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Looks like we have a circle thing. That maybe if we sit in here, we can turn around and go upside down. Whoa. I just went upside down one time. <laughs> hey, a slide. All right. Here we go. Whee! <laughs> oh. And last but not least, let's keep spinning. Whee! Whoa! I love spinning! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> I am so dizzy! Whoa! 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 <laughs> I'm shooting these balls out of this toy gun. Whoa! Go on the other side and let's see if I can hit the target. Whoa! That was awesome! I didn't hit the target, but I was certainly close. <laughs> hey, speaking of targets, look right up there. <laughs> Whoa, do you see the colors of the target? Yeah, from the outside in, there's red, yellow, green, purple, blue, and red again. Hey, do you know what the very center of the target is called? That is called 
the bullseye. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> Whoa! Look at all these balls! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Wee! <laughs> all right, I have an idea. Let's put them right in here. And here we go! <laughs> that was so cool! The air blew the balls up. Yeah, from the bottom up to the top. Okay, I have an idea. Let's see how many balls I can hold. Oh, I dropped one! Alright, let's see the final number. Did you see that? Two just fell out. So we'll start at two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight balls. Wow, that's a lot of balls that I was carrying in my hand. All right, let's see what colors they are. Here we go. There's red, purple, and orange. Whoa, and you know what I can do with three balls. Yeah, here we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, yeah! <laughs> whoa! Hey, check it out! I'm balancing on these circular things. Whoa, wait a second! What is this? <laughs> this is a spiky ball. Woohoo! <laughs> hey! Alright, I'm gonna spin it really fast. Whoa! <laughs> Okay, now fast the other way. Whoa! Okay, now I'll spin it really slow. Ready? Woohoo! That looks so cool. Here we go! Woohoo! <laughs> okay, come on. Okay, check it out. I'm balancing on the cactus spines. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Whoa! Look at these! Oh, I can barely fit in them! I'm getting squashed! <laughs> oh, wow! Yeah, these are two big orange cylinders. <laughs> Here I come! Oh. Ah. 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 Oh, I did it! Oh. Oh. Okay, let's continue on. Whoa, look at this! It looks like a swing. Wee! <laughs> Wee! <laughs> this is so much fun. It's kind of relaxing. Oh, have you ever been on a swing before? Yeah. Yeah, like at the park, the playground. Yeah, they're really fun. See how I'm keeping my momentum by leaning forward when it goes forward. 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 Now I'll lean backward. Back. Forward, back, forward, back, forward! Whoa. That's awesome. Okay, let's continue this way. Okay, now I'm gonna try and jump over this spinny cylinder. What colors are these, first of all? Yeah, they are blue and yellow. All right, here I go. Whoa! Ugh. Yeah, you balance on them. Let's look at the colors. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay, all right. These kind of look like targets, don't they? Yeah. Okay, what colors are these? There's two of my favorite colors on this. Yeah, let's start from the outside and go inward. So, this is the color orange. Yeah, you knew that. What color is this? Yeah, yellow. And this center circle, it's the color blue. Yeah, two of my favorite colors, blue and orange. <laughs> okay. <laughs> More balancing. Whoa, wow. <laughs> blue and orange balancing steps. This is so cool. Wow, 
more challenges. I love challenges. Here I go. Whee! Whoa! I'm spinning. Here I go. Whoa! Okay, let's count how many times I spin on this last one. Ready? Here I go. One, two, three. Yeah. Wow. Now I'm all dizzy. Whoa. 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 All right. Now it's time for me to bounce. Whoa. 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 Do you see how it spins? <laughs> Makes it really hard to stand on top. Okay. Here we go. Whoa. Here I come. Red, green, gray. <laughs> Whoa, look at these. <laughs> yeah, we have a yellow tube and a whitish gray tube. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah. All right, come on. Hey, look at this. Okay, if you spin it to the right, it looks like this. That's actually the direction that analog clocks spin. This is called clockwise. Yeah, do you see that? Wow, and check this out. Whoa, we're going the opposite way. Yeah! This is spinning it to the left. See, left, left. And this is called counterclockwise. Whoa! <laughs> Come on! Whoa! Here it comes! <laughs> Whoa! Oh, 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 here we go. Whee! Oh, okay. Come on. <laughs> Whoa. All right. Let's say the colors. Red. Gray. Green? Oh, wait a second. <laughs> I just said green. This isn't the color green. What color is this? Yeah, this is the color orange. But hey, look over here. I'm so silly. This is the color green. Let's try that again. Ready? Orange, green, red, gray. <laughs> Good job. Whoa. Wow. Wow. Look at it. It's like a web. Whoa. Look. It's like I'm an insect in a spider web. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. That's silly. Whoa. Whoa. Good job! Whoa! Check it out! Yeah, what is this? Whoa! This is a slide! Yeah, I love slides because you start at the top and gravity helps pull you down to the bottom. And depending on how steep it is will determine how fast you go as well as a lot of other things like friction and wind speed and drag and all that stuff. <laughs> Anywho, but for now, I bet I'm going to go really fast. <laughs> Here I go. Three, two, one. Whoa. Ah, yeah. That was awesome. I love sliding down this slide. It is so fast. And I love learning. <laughs> Woohoo. I love jumping on a trampoline. Hey, check it out. I'm gonna jump really high. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna jump really low. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa.
has been so much fun playing and learning. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> did you have fun? Yeah, I did too. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B L I P P I. Flippy. Good job. All right. See you again. Bye bye. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> It's me, Blippi! And look at what's behind me! Whoa! This is a snowmobile. And this snowmobile belongs to my friends, Magnus and Hans. <laughs> and today, you and I are going to learn about snowmobiles! Yeah! Got to ask you, what colors do you see on the snowmobile? Yeah, I see the color red, black, white, and hey, look down here. There's some silver. <laughs> hey, come back here. Wow, look at this tree. What color is this tree? Looks like icy green and brown. And what else? Yeah, the snow is white. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I love playing in the snow, <laughs> but it's so cold. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> This snowmobile is so powerful! Do you know how the snowmobile gets all of its power? Yeah! The engine! Whoa! Check that out! Looks like we have... Oh! This looks like maybe the engine oil! Whoa! That's what helps cool the engine. Um, let's see. Ooh, looks like the flywheel, some gears. Oh! And look at this! This is a front shock. Yeah, this is part of the suspension of the snowmobile. Whoa! And look down here! This snowmobile has two skis. One right here, and one over there. Whoa, that is what's on the front to help steer the snowmobile. Come on up to the other side. Whoa, the other engine compartment. Whoa. Looks like we have the exhaust in there. You definitely don't want to touch that. That is really hot. Oh, and we have the intake. And we have the engine way down in there. Whoa, this engine is so compact with so much power. All in the front of the snowmobile. Come to the back, check this out. Wow. This is the track of the snowmobile. 
You see these big things poking up? Oh, that helps it grip into the snow so it doesn't slip and slide. Yeah, that's kind of like the tread on a wheel and tire. But this snowmobile does not have a wheel or a tire. <laughs> oh, come check this out. All right, this is the dash of the snowmobile right here. This is where it tells you how fast you're going, your engine temperature. Oh, and look at right here. Yeah, the key. Yeah, you know what that does. When you have that in, then you turn it, and that is how you start the snowmobile. But it's not like a car where you just start it with a key. You have to pull this. Check this out. So for safety, we have the brake, and not for safety, we have the throttle. Here we go! has been so much fun riding this snowmobile. Oh geez, I sure do love the seasons, don't you? Yeah, it's so cool how you can do fun things during the spring and the summer and the fall and the winter. Yeah, let's go. Look at what we found! Yeah, we found a river! Whoa! This has been so much fun exploring with the snowmobiles and finding this river. Hey, do you know what animals live in this river? Yeah, probably some fish! Whoa! I definitely don't want to be a fish right now and swim in that water. That water looks so cold! <laughs> Check out this yellow vehicle! Whoa! Do you see something unique about it? Yeah, check this out! Just like how the snowmobile has tracks, yeah, it doesn't have wheels and tires. Yeah, the Jeep also has tracks! It doesn't have wheels and tires as well, just like the snowmobile. <laughs> snowmobiling at Leavenworth Snowmobile Tours at the Mountain Springs Lodge in Plain, Washington. Ho, ho, ho. Do you like snowmobiling? Yeah, I do too. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi. Good job. Bye-bye! It's 
it's me, Blippi, and look at all the items that I have. Whoa, so many random things. But hey, in this video, we are going to do the Blippi Velocity Race. Yeah, that's where we put a lot of these items on this ramp. Yeah, see how this ramp is at an angle? Yeah, we're gonna let them go at the same time and see what item reaches the bottom first. Okay, so let's go with heat number one, the slow pokes. <laughs> we have this sweet, colorful beach ball, and then we have this really light balloon. Okay, all right. What one do you think is gonna reach the bottom first? I think I know. Three, two, one. Whoa! Did you see that? Yeah! The beach ball went to the bottom first. Okay, let's let them just, you know, get warmed up for later. And then we'll use some more items. Yeah, I'm sure all these items are gonna be a lot faster. Okay, here's another set of items. They're actually the same item. Water bottles. Yeah, but this one is empty. And this one is half full. <laughs> All right, let's put them on their side and then let's let them roll down. Okay, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Awesome. Three, two, one. Whoa, yeah. Wow, the half full water bottle totally beat the empty water bottle. How do you feel after your race, half full water bottle? Oh, Blippi, I feel amazing. I can't believe I've won. Great. Well, it's gonna move on to the next race. Half full water bottle versus extremely bright orange duct tape. <laughs> All right, here we go. Are you ready? Ready to race. Are you ready? You know I'm ready. All right, three, two, one. Whoa, whoa, did you see that? Yeah, the water bottle rolled down way to the bottom, way quick, way faster than the duct tape. Perfect, so now it can move on to the next round. Have you ever wondered why these items, some go fast and some go slow? Yeah, it's because their velocity. Yeah, velocity is basically the speed at which they're rolling down. The speed and the direction. Yeah, there's a lot of things that actually determine what the item's velocity is. I mean, like, think about it like this. There could be a lot of friction and it like can't slide or maybe it rolls compared to, you know, maybe there's sharp edges. There's just so many things that, you know, determine how fast, how much velocity these items have. So let's let these two items go. We have orange over here and apple over here. And let's see who wins. Go! Whoa! They were actually really close to each other. I don't even know who won. Let's see that instant replay. All right, let's pick two more items. We have a soccer ball or a football, depends where you live, and the half full water bottle, the champion. Okay, let's see who wins. All right, here we go. Are you ready? I'm good to go. Are you ready? I was born ready. All right. And away we go. Whoa! I cannot believe it. The half full water bottle wins the velocity race. Woohoo! And the crowd goes wild. <laughs> wow, that was awesome learning about velocity and how fast that water bottle went and how the ramp is angled. But yeah, if the ramp was flat, 
It definitely wouldn't go anywhere, right? Yeah, hey, can you think of a machine that is actually really fast? Yeah, there's a lot of them. Okay, let me give you a hint. Okay, this machine does not go on the ground. Well, it does, but then it goes in the air. Yeah. Whoa, I hear one. Yeah, maybe you've got to fly in one before. Fly? Yeah, they fly in the air. Yeah, airplanes. Yeah, airplanes are really fast. And speaking of speed and velocity, I think you and I should watch the airplane video. learning about velocity with you and it was really fun seeing all these great items compete at the great blippy velocity race <laughs> but there's only one champion and today that was water <laughs> wow <laughs> well this is the end of this video but if you want to watch more of my videos all you have to do is search for my name will you spell my name with me b-l-i P-P-I, Blippi, good job. All right, see you again, bye-bye. <laughs>
Whoa! I am so curious how they made this here. Yeah, all of these are handmade. Here, yeah, handmade. These aren't made with machines or anything like that. Every single one of these is turned or blown. Yeah, and they're made by two people right here. <laughs> okay, here we go. Come on. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> Look at this. Looks like a blue and white plate. <laughs> I could put tons of food on here and eat it all up. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> or you can use it for decoration. Wow. This is so cool. Wow. Look at this. <laughs> blue and orange. My two favorite colors. Wow. Glass is so cool because look at how hard it is. Ow, that hurt. <laughs> but when you heat it up really hot, yeah, it kind of turns into like a liquid, kind of like honey. <laughs> I love honey. <laughs> Whoa, look at this place. Wow, there's so many cool machines in here and tools. Hey, come check it out. Whoa, look at all these. <laughs> they kind of look like scissors. <laughs> but they're used for the glass. Yeah, we'll look into these a little bit later. <laughs> but for now, come check this out. Wow, look at all these colors. These are actually big pieces of glass. Wow, what color is this? Yeah, it's bright red. Do you hear them? Listen. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we got some red, some orange, some yellow, some green, some turquoise right in here, and teal, and we got some blue, and looks like we have some purple. <laughs> Can't forget about white. <laughs> that is so cool. I am so excited to see what we make with glass today. Wow, look at all these glass rods. Whoa, so cool. <laughs> they have colors on the inside. Whoa, okay. <laughs> okay, let's see what they have here. Whoa, check it out. Yeah, this is a nice bed. This is where you roll a metal rod and the glass is on the end. We have nice little, uh, looks like a little metal paddle. <laughs> you can flatten out the glass. Ooh, some big tweezers. <laughs> wow. We have some diamond shears. Each one of these tools has a different use for the glass. Oh, look way down here. A big paddle. Whoa, and it looks like some glass actually made it turn black a little bit burnt over time. That is so cool. Okay, there we go. Hey, and this is a fluffy, yeah, kind of like a torch. Yeah, has some nice flame coming out. Whoa, oh hey, look, kind of like bowls. Whoa, it's so cool. <laughs> I bet you put the glass in there. Okay, let's go explore. Whoa, look at this. Yeah, this is an oven. This is where you put in the glass and then it heats it up. Yeah, it's really hot in there, so I'm definitely not gonna touch that. Oh, it's nice and warm though. Whoa, look at all these. Little pieces of glass. Wow, they're so colorful. Whoa, yellow, blue, orange and yellow. Purple. Oh, and you can't forget about my two favorite colors, blue and orange. <laughs> that is so cool. Whoa, look at this station. This looks like the safety station. And you know me, I love safety. Check it out. <laughs> look at these big mittens. <laughs> so then you can hold the nice hot Last, and then it won't burn you. Whoa, look at 
Down here, whoa, looks like we have a helmet. <laughs> How do I look? <laughs> do I look silly? <laughs> wow, I love protective gear. That keeps you nice and safe. Oh, another oven. This is where you put the finished glass to cool down nice and slow. Whoa, and another oven. But this oven is really, really hot. This is where all the clear glass is. Yeah, and it is basically like liquid in there. Oh, whoa. Check it out. This is a torch, another hot area that I am definitely not gonna touch. Wow, <laughs> there's so many cool things around here, but you have to be very, very careful. Hey, look, yeah, look at these pipes. Some of the pipes have holes in them. Do you see that? Yeah, that's where the glass blower blows into this pipe. And on the other end, that's where the glass is. And then the air expands it, kind of like when you blow a bubble. With bubble gum. <laughs> yeah, this is a section of pipes. Check it out. These are used and they are very cold. And that's why I am able to handle these. Yeah, <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> yeah! Whoa, <laughs> so cool. Whoa, what are they doing? Whoa, hey, who are you two? I'm Craig, I'm Dory. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm Blippi, what are you doing? We are blowing glass, we're making parts like to make hearts a lot. Whoa, they're blowing glass and making hearts. Do you mind showing us a little bit more? We would love to show you. Awesome. <laughs> Kind of look like tweezers. making? Yeah, it's a heart. Yeah, a symbol of love. Are you two putting it in there? We put it in here so that it cools slowly. If it cools too fast, it will crack. So it stays in here all day long at 920 degrees and that it cools down over a two day period after that. Wow, that's so cool. I'm so excited for it to cool down so we can see this heart. <laughs> Did you see that? That was so cool how they made that heart. <laughs> now, 
I get to make a heart. But the first thing I need to do is wear my safety glasses. Yeah! Whoa! How do I look? Woo! <laughs> yeah! Now I'm ready. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Check it out! Whoa! First, I need to roll it! Yeah! Oh, that's really fun! Alright! There we go! <laughs> this is so much fun! Whoa! Alright, now we're heating it up. I chose blue and orange, my two favorite colors! <laughs> yeah! What are your favorite colors or color? Wow! What a great color! <laughs> you see how I'm spinning it? Yeah! It's because gravity pulls the glass down. Yeah! Whoa! Whoa! It is very hot! Okay, now roll it. Keep going. And then now you can, and then you can stop. Okay. You can let it cool now. Okay. We have to. It was moving a lot, right? Yeah. So let it cool down so that when you cover it with more hot glass, that it doesn't lose control and drip off into the tank above. Oh, okay. So now it's cooling down a little bit. Wow. That was very good. Thank you. Hey. Whoa. This is fun. <laughs> wow, it's so cool how glass is really hard when it's cold, but when you heat it up to really hot temperatures, yeah, it turns into a honey-like consistency. <laughs> I love honey, but I definitely do not want to eat this glass or honey, because that would burn us. Wow. Do you see what she's doing? She's using that spoon-looking device to roll it in and look at how smooth and circular it looks. Wow. <laughs> Little more heat. Here we go. Whoa. <laughs> okay, it's ready. Whoa. Whoa. All right. The first thing we have to do is tap it, but I need to keep rolling it. Here we go. Is it ready? All right. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. <laughs> I'll do a little bit more shaping. Can you tell that it's a heart? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna give it a little bit more heat. And then we'll do the last bit of shaping. Okay. Okay, I'm going to do the last bit of shaping, and then from there, whoa, okay, how's that? That looks really good, and then let's give this point just a little bit more of a tug, perfect, and then how about right there, wow. Little bit more of a crease. I'll try and center it out. <laughs> Not really. Well, that's okay. <laughs> Perfect. All right. How does that look? That looks very good. Okay. Well yep. Great. Whoa. Wow. That was so much fun. Now they're going to do the finishing touches and then they're going to pull it off of the metal rod.
Now we're keeping that back truck point because we just broke the glass, right? So we're heating it up, working that in, and then we're going to put a stamp on it. at Boulder Bend Glassworks with you today, huh? Did you have fun? Yeah! Hey, let's check out what we made! Yeah, they made this really cool pendant. Whoa! Yeah, remember how they blew it and made it big and it expanded? Whoa! Look at that! Whoa! That is so pretty! <laughs> and then they made this bluish and whitish bowl. Wow, you could put so many goodies in there. Whoa, they do such great work. Wow, and then they made a heart. Yeah, they used yellow and orange. Whoa, yeah, yep. <laughs> that is so cool. And then I got to make a heart. Yeah, do you remember my two colors that I used? Yeah, blue and orange. Whoa, <laughs> here it is. Wow, we did such a good job making this heart. Whoa, <laughs> that was so cool. It is so cool that when these cooled down, yeah, they became really hard. Yeah, and then when they were really hot. Yeah, it was like a liquid. Whoa! Yeah, kind of like honey. <laughs> but not honey. It's glass. <laughs> All right. Well, I should probably get going now. <laughs> but this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Flippy. Good job. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs> Come on, everyone. Let's make learning fun. So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout. Flippy.